Now we're going to look at the functionality of the resonant second harmonic generation. At the very heart of the system is a nonlinear crystal. It's placed inside a bow tie cavity. We inject infrared light over here on this mirror and it travels many, many times in this path. A very high infrared intensity builds up inside the cavity. For a very modest power, we're going to have very high intensity, which also creates very high conversion efficiency and very high power. This cavity round trip length has to be continuously adjusted in real time. That is done with a piezo that's moving this mirror. By applying a voltage, we could either scan it, like you see over here on this scope, or we could have it uh, locked in a closed loop fashion. To lock the cavity, uh, we used a well-known pound driver hull or PDH technique. We also have provision to use another technique like Hans Kuyo.